this is Jack. Quan Quan, welcome to Learning Words with Pictures, episode number twenty-four. 看图学字第二十四集 Today we're gonna learn two difficult Chinese characters. 有一点点难 As a matter of fact, I shouldn't say difficult. Um, it's just that they have more writing strokes than any word we've learned before. Here they are on the screen. They are xiang and shu. Xiang, shu. Do you want to guess what they mean? Chai chai kan. I'll give you five seconds. All right. First word first. Let's practice the pronunciation of xiang. 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 In fourth tone, the links of the initial consonant and the compound nasal vowel yang are shown below. You can go to my pinyin series to review them. Now we'll see if your first guess is correct or not. Picture time. 图片时间 A short video. See what you've seen. Elephant. Yes, this Chinese character means elephant. Let's see another picture. 再看一张图 Ah, this is a cute little elephant. And its head is waggling. 摇头摆脑的 The definition of 像 is elephant. 像 elephant. Um, how is this picture turned into the Chinese character? Um, we do not need much of imagination this time. I'll show you. 我瞄瞄一看，意思是，我瞄一瞄给你看。First of all, this is the elephant's trunk. Two big ears. And the body. Four legs and a tail. Pull it out. Do you see it? See the shape of the word. 看到字的形状了吗 Um. How about drawing again? Trunk. Ears. Body, legs, and tail. It's just like the shape of the character. Let's practice the writing sequence. First, the elephant's trunk. We need one left falling line and a horizontal turning line. 一撇，然后一横折。Remember how we write 鱼 fish. It's the same first stroke. After that will be the same writing the word 口 mouth. The 口 we learned in the episode number eleven. Next, write an elephant's leg. And the body extends to its rear leg.
There are two more legs plus a tail. Xiang elephant, 大象 elephant. One more time, 再写一次 The elephant's trunk, ears, and a leg. The body extends to one of the rear legs. Two more legs and a tail. Although there are a lot of strokes, now this character has become easier, right? You could pause here. Don't look at the screen. Could you write it yourself? 自己不要看，写写看。Ready for the next one? Let's go. Let's practice its pronunciation first. 是。巫术，是巫术，术。Are you ready for the correct answer? Here it is. 这就是答案。Mouse, mouse. Um, I have to pick a cute picture because I'm kind of scared of mouse. To be honest, I don't think anyone can answer today's two words correctly. But if you get both answers correct, you are super duper good, 超级厉害 So the definition of 鼠 is mouse. Let's go directly into the tracing session. 描一描 First, the head of the mouse and eyes. 头和目 Body and feet. The four feet and the tail. This is the Chinese character, Shu. Let me trace again. Head, eyes, body, feet, and tail. It's fun. 很有趣吧 Let's work. On his writing sequence, 写一写 First, the head, 头 This is new to you. We haven't learned anything like this before. Try to recall the picture you've seen just earlier. You should be able to write this part easily. Next, the body turning with a rising stroke. Plus two points of feet. Repeat the same strokes. The body finally a long curve with a hook from the back of the mouse to its curvy tail. One more time, 再一次 the head. And eyes, the body, and four feet, the long tail. That's it. Shu, mouse. Today's characters need a lot of practice, especially Xiang, elephant. If you can write it well. Then many other Chinese characters can be written well easily. Okay, these are the two words to learn today. Thank you, 谢谢 Please don't forget to support my videos. Please subscribe, 订阅关注 give me a like.
点赞三连哦，才两个，少了一个呢。Now it's time to practice. 练习时间。First, 橡皮虫，橡皮虫，橡 is elephant. B means nose. 虫 is insect. Bug. We've learned this in episode number twenty-two. Have you ever seen this kind of bug? Um, I've seen a small one, but the color is black. 黑色的，小小的。Its color is not as bright as this one in the picture. Weevil, whose nose look looks like an elephant's trunk. The next phrase is an idiom. 下一个短语是成语。一蛇吞象，一蛇吞象。E is one. 蛇 means snake. 吞 means swallow. Swallowing like this. Oh, 象 is elephant. One snake swallows an elephant. How do you think? Yeah, right. It's a myth. A snake is small or tiny compared to an elephant. Is it too greedy or overconfident to eat such a big thing? That's right. This is used to describe people who are greedy and overconfident, not aware of lacking capability of themselves. Next, 飞天鼠，飞天鼠，飞 is fly. We've learned this in episode number twenty-two. 天 is sky. We've learned this in episode number three. 鼠 means mouse. Squeak. Literally, a flying mouse, a super mouse. Um, my dad said that Fei Tianshu Rocky is an animation character. I have not yet seen that movie. Have you? You 看过吗 One more. 胆小如鼠。胆小如鼠。Dan means guts. Xiao is small. We've learned this in episode number five, and plus, we used this idiom in episode number five too. Ru means as same as shu is mouse. We all know that mice are timid. In cautious, so 胆小如鼠 is used to describe people who are timid or overly cautious. However, this phrase is not a positive phrase. Um, it's a bit of a mockery of others, so use it cautiously. Okay, that's all for today. 今天的汉字就是这些了。How do you like today's lesson? 你喜欢吗 ？Thank you. Bye. 再见。